We got the Young Bulls, the the the, the Pelicans out in New Orleans, and uh, they're gonna be taking on defending champion Miami Heat. Uh, this is this was actually a tough one for me uh, because we're gonna go into the season where Zion is gonna be healthy. So I think now this year is gonna be the kind of show and prove year for Zion if he can actually stay healthy and you know stay on the court and get the get those minutes in. Uh, I, I believe ESPN had him ranked at like 22, uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So he got he got to show and prove. Yeah, absurd. But show us that 22. Yeah, it, it's absurd that they had him ranked that high. They had him above John Morant, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah, especially after coming off a winning rookie of the year, deservedly. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But I, I I gotta I gotta go with Miami on this one, man. I'm sorry, I gotta go with, with, with Jimmy Butler and uh and, and my my main man Swaggy T, man. I, I gotta go with, with with the Eastern Conference champions. I just think the the experience, um, and then you know coming off of of losing in the finals, I know Miami's coming into this season with a chip on their shoulder. Um, you know a lot of people have dropped them down uh, on the list in the Eastern Conference. You know a lot of the reason being because Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have looked so good uh, during the preseason in, in Miami. I feel like it's becoming the forgotten team, but we can't forget about the Eastern Conference champions. You know, the, the, the team that, that beat uh, the, the Milwaukee Bucks, who were the favorite this past season in the second round to move on to the Eastern Conference finals, then went on and, and beat the Celtics, who te- people, a lot of people also have ranked ahead of uh, Miami right now as far as their projections going to Eastern Conference. So they got a chip on their shoulder. You know, uh, those Pat Riley teams, you know, they, they always come in with, with something to prove, and it's just hard-nosed, grit, tough basketball. So I'm going with, 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 with Miami on Christmas Day. Who are you taking? So I was leaning the same way because you made some great points, and I agree. I think they're a little overlooked because everyone's caught up on the hype train of some of the other Eastern Conference teams. Obviously, Brooklyn with their guys, as you mentioned, coming back. People want to see if Boston can take the next step in their evolution. Everyone's really excited about what's going on with the Wizards. Miami's kind of flying under the radar. And under normal circumstances, I would have taken Miami because this is going to be their home opener. So if they would have been fans, I would have expected a certain energy. But I do feel that this Pelicans team is, as you mentioned, the, the young guns. And they're a very exciting team. And Lonzo looked like he's actually corrected a shot. And I think they're going to be a really good team. There's no drop off, though they do lose Drew Holiday. I think Eric Bledsoe fits them pretty well for what he does defensively and and being able to, again, facilitate the offense when Lonzo doesn't have the ball. And I really think Brandon Ingram's a stud. I think this year he takes another step in his evolution um, as an all-star in the league. So I'm going to take the Pelicans on Christmas Day. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 